this word from the Lord will change your life forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to his holy name. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. Welcome to the program. Too many people are still struggling with what God says about them. Please, please hear me clearly. Stop struggling. Stop struggling with the good things that God says about you. Whatever God said, please lay hold upon it. Believe it. Receive it. Take it as his word. It is a heart for you. It is a truth for you. Therefore, if God said you are his beloved, lay all upon that. Let no one convince you otherwise. Let no one use your circumstances to tell you otherwise. Neither you yourself, you, yes, do not use your circumstances. Whatever is not working out, whatever you think is not going right, the mistake that you would have made, your failures in life. If God said you are his beloved, he loves you. Go in his arms. Yes, rest in his shoulders. Cast all your care upon him. Trust in the Almighty himself because he cared for you and he promised to always be there. He said when mother and father forsake you, he promised to take you up. Oh, he's a wonderful God. Don't struggle over his love. Neither any other promises are truth that he literally make clear to you, beloved. I know at times we grow up in an environment that says so many things differently. They tell us who God is. They have wrong, totally wrong representation of God. We have seen sometimes. And it causes us to grow in fear, intimidation condemnation and necessary worry but today be mindful that God loves you yes you are his beloved whatever you face with today remember 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 he sent Christ for you don't look on the world don't get general now please don't get general get specific see that God would have done this for you yes Put yourself there. If you were the only one, God would have done it for you. So look, get specific now. Say it out of your mouth. Convince yourself. For God so loves me. For God so loves me. For God so loves me. Say it until you get it. Take a few minutes for yourself. This word more than treasure, more than physical goal out there and money. Why? It's a mindset that you're building. It's an understanding the reality of it thereof that you are coming into. Therefore, it must be the way how you do life. Whatever you're about to do, you do it through the understanding of how much you are loved by God. Yes, of how much you are embraced, you are held by God. You must see life like that. You're going to school, you're going to university, you're going on an interview for a job, you're thinking about getting a married, you know, in the future or even now. You must deal with life with this understanding. The love that God has for you goes before you. It shapes your mind. Yes, it determines your outcome. Why? Because because he loved you so much, you can dream. Oh, hallelujah. In spite of the negatives, you can dream. In spite of being in a dungeon like David, uh, you know, and even way there in the cave at Abba, Adalam, you know, have no help, cannot see anyone, but yet still, God will send people to lift you up and crown you. How about the man Joseph? Locked away for years. His dreams seem to have dashed and shattered. Seem to be no hope in a strange land among strange people. Who are you among this morning? What do your circumstances look like? Wow. Listen to me carefully. The love of God, the consciousness of it thereof will elevate you from wherever you may find yourself. Don't give up on God's love for you because God will never give up on you he will love you even until the end remember as i said earlier he promised when mother and father forsake you he god will take you up can i tell you this god 
already take you up. See yourself in his hands. He's engraving you in the hollows of, of his hand. In the, the palm of his hand. In the hollow of it. Therefore, he write you and I. He see you and I daily. We are the apple of his eyes. Wow. That is awesome. Yes. That simple saying, you are bright. God see you in a farm. God see you in a glorious way. A wonderful way. God see the best. God not looking at your failure. Your, you know, your defeat. When you feel like you cannot make it. No. He's the best of you. Shining. Nice. Colorful. Wow. Juicy. And a tree hanging as an apple. As his children. That's how God, God, God see all of us. And God see you like that. Fresh. Glory be to God. I know. You may see yourself and believe you're beaten up. Feel negatives. Feel confused. Wonder how you're going to make it. But God doesn't see you like that. Be encouraged. Choose to believe what God says about you. Choose to say what God says about you. Choose to call yourself what God call you. If he said that you are his beloved. It's simple. You tell yourself, I am God's beloved. That's it. Become strong with it, bold with it, say it over and over until you really get it in your spirit. This is not something that you want to just, you know, mention no and then. No. When it comes to good things, let me tell you something here, please. When it comes to good stuff, you have to make sure you go over them more than once, more than twice. Why? Because good stuff doesn't stick just like that. No. Negative stuff does stick whether you like it or not. But good stuff you have to almost brainwash yourself <laughs> you have to simply do the work where that is concerned for yourself make sure you get it in the innermost man get it through your mind power to renew that mind in that you know develop a new mindset where that is concerned that is so important beloved that is how you are going to empower yourself in the love of almighty god others around you may send a wrong signal right they try to judge you from outside judge you according to what they see and what they claim you know supposed to be the right standard at what they're looking for if you don't measure up to that standard you'll never make the qualification it's simple you will never be qualified in your eyes stop trying to be qualified in anybody's eyes remember now you're supposed to live your life by you knowing that god qualifies you by his standard and he call you his beloved imagine that then if this right here becomes your reality what are who are when uh, we are, you know what I mean, could throw you off. Nothing at all that happened. What matters in what whoever want to say? What they say again? They don't like you. They don't like this. They don't like your hair. They don't like your height. They don't like your complexion. They don't like your shape. Who matters? Who cares? God calls you his beloved. That is all what matters. Now, trust in God with all your heart and lean on what he said unto you there don't lean or trust or have confident in your own self and what people say no but it's what god says you are going to have confident in so trust in him with all your heart okay you don't feel good you don't believe you look good you believe a part of you kind of a wrong you know people describe themselves negatively all the while come on now get a hold of yourself lean not on your understanding don't do not rely upon your own lenses choose to say what god says about you continually to do that practice yourself in doing that in saying god sayings about you and about your life about your future about your destiny can you imagine the lord said you are more than conqueror even when you are struggling that is how god see you just imagine just imagine if you and i ever can have enough boneless to say exactly what God would say about us. Can you imagine how we wouldn't change day and night? Because we always try to call ourselves our circumstances. We always try to describe ourselves according to what we're going through. We very seldom, very limitedly, we would be strong. We choose to be strong enough to step out, be bold enough to step out, be confident enough to step out and say, what God say. God tell Joshua, Joshua, be strong and very courageous. Obviously, he's going to take this wonderful land. However, over the other side, there are giants. And on this side, guarding them over the other side, 
their walls, mighty, powerful walls. So God said, Joshua, meditate upon this word. Really, God? Yes. He said, this word, this book of the law, this word of mine that I've given unto you, it must not leave your mouth. So you are going to meditate upon it. Now, he did not just say heart, and this is key to understand. It is mouth meditation bring about power. You can have something in your heart where you're shame, you lack confidence to put voice to it. I am encouraging you today with this simple key here, victory nugget, for you to understand. You have to voice your faith. Voice that which you claim that you believe. Practice how to speak God's way. Talk the way your God talk. Talk the way your God talk. Talk the way your God talk. Don't look at other Christian who in church forever. Don't look at other Christian who have a title behind the name and stuff like that. No. You maintain the integrity of the word of God. You say what he says. And then you realize that you become your own prophet. Because that is what a prophet is. A prophet is one who simply says what God says. You know many times people looking for a word, waiting for a word, seeking to get a word. They end up getting the wrong word. Lying words. False words. Why? Because these are the simple ways that God tells us to live. If you choose to say what God said about you, what you become? You become your own prophet for your life. How can you be wrong? If you're saying what God says, what you're saying is perfect prophecy every day over your life. Just imagine that. How can you fail? How can you be stopped? Who can hinder you? No one at all. Because you gain the ascendancy by saying what God said about you. You will be strong. Be confident today. Know that you are who God said that you are. The struggle cannot define you. Your circumstances must not define you. The peak that you are in must not define you. Your mistakes must not define you. Do not stand in your own way. Excuse yourself and allow God, the Almighty Himself, the one who loves you enough to send His only Son to die for you. Yes, to die for you. Allow Him to define you. Love and respect people. However, don't give them too much of your hearing. Don't give them so much access in order for them to determine and try to tell you and dictate to you who you are. Come on now. Limit your hearing to certain people. Access must be granted. Listen now. Access must be granted to you in wisdom. God give you your life. Live it wisely. God bless you abundantly. I pray you come to the understanding of how much you are loved. Listen now. Limited access to some people. Say that again. Limited access to the real you for some people. Please, limit some people's voice in your ears because those voices will literally mold you the wrong way. They may be good people, but they just don't know who you are in God. They don't know what to say. So don't allow people who say they are good people, but they talk wrong to confuse you and call you crazy things. And because they claim that they are good and they look nice, wonderful people, and go to church, have a nice dress, you accept it. No, no, no. In the name of Jesus, do not do not accept any devil word that come out of a person's mouth. Even if the person look and dress and act like a nice person. No, when the enemy is using the wrong people, or rather, no, when the enemy is using good people the wrong way against you. God bless you abundantly. Remember to check out our online business in the description. God bless you. Thank you very much for listening. In Jesus' name, hallelujah.